Good morning. This is Fazal Khan from City Studio Brampton. We have the pleasure of having with us today Mohammed Faki from Paramount Fine Foods. Thank you for joining us, Mohammed. Thank you very much for having me. I'm so excited about this. Now, Mohammed, uh, you do a lot of work uh, in the community, philanthropic work, as well as you're the founder and CEO of Paramount Fine Foods. So you know a lot of what's going on just from the, kind of the social needs of the, of the city and the country but also from a business perspective. So let's talk to you first about what you've been seeing out in the community in terms of how the pandemic has been affecting people. Well, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. I think uh, the pandemic has affected everyone uh, from several different places. And uh, a lot of people has gone to darker places and a lot of people has been affected financially, economically, psychologically, and most important, the family together uh, spending more time yet not being able to do so much outside the house. So that had affected people psychologically mostly. Uh, but let me talk more as well economically. A lot of people had lost their jobs. A lot of people were scared to go to work. And a lot of other people have lost businesses. The only way, and coming up from someone that was in a civil war, uh, done business during a civil war, so I have a kind of experience to act and how to move differently uh, during a pandemic. I've never been in a pandemic before, but it's similar to being in a war. And I'll never forget my dad coming out when even we lived in bunkers for weeks. He used to come out of the bunker smiling. And he used to say, why are you smiling for? He said, you know, look, a good day will come and we will all agree to it together. Now we're coming out of the bunker. Let's build more businesses. Let's hire more people. So the idea was always about keep moving and to stick to the first order of business is to stay in business and to maintain people hired so we can put food and that glass of milk on the table in front of the children that needs it the most and to make sure that we maintain education going because that's the most important part. So Brampton or Peel in general and even Canada, you know, every single one of us has felt the pressure of the pandemic and we never knew or we couldn't have a plan but the plan should be that we keep moving and the plan should be that we evolve diversify and do things differently the only way i would say that we will not be again like before the pandemic is we shouldn't be doing business the same way we should interact a better way kinder way food bank need more help and a lot of people are going to ask help of the food bank much more than before the pandemic. And the only way the food bank can answer those calls if we support food banks. And that's why we started the initiative in Mississauga. And that's why I was part of the initiative that started as well in Brampton to support the food bank in Brampton. Because people cannot, especially in Canada, in a country like this, should not sleep one day worrying about really having and seeing a meal on their table. And we are all, we all can, what we say, break bread, we can as well do sharing a bread. So if you have enough for your family, right, share with others. Because this is the time where we all realize that we need to come out of this pandemic. If nothing we learn is to be kinder, kinder to each other. We just realize that the health of one depends will like the health of the whole community and the country will depend on the health of every single individual, regardless of financially how strong they are. So we should have things available, at least for everyone equally, like health, like food on their table, because now we're just realizing if I'm only healthy, it's not helping me. The world that traveled so fast, pandemic had traveled so fast. So I always say we become what we celebrate. And we need to celebrate kindness more often after the pandemic, hopefully. And during the pandemic, we definitely need to be kinder to each other. We're all stressed. Sometimes I see my team, suppliers, a lot of people that I work with and I do business with, that they're acting or talking differently. And they're more angry or upset or, 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 or their patience is less. All what we need to be much kinder when it matters. And this is when it matters kinder in donating more, kinder in our interaction, 
not to really take things very sensitively and personally and understand that the other person in front of you is under stress as well and they're not in their best behavior so do not judge each other so much instead appreciate like more understand each other the the, the recovery is going to be difficult businesses will struggle our industry like the last survey clearly said only 13 percent of restaurants will be profitable within the first six months the coming six months not the, even well, the, the first that's a that's a probably a good time for to talk about your business yeah. So how, what have you experienced at Paramount Fine Foods and what are you been trying? Well, I mean, we woke up on March 13 or 14 and 85% of the sales were gone. And we couldn't act, like welcome people to our restaurant. And that was a shock. And we woke up with our biggest asset and values and principle under attack. We have people come first. And we were in a situation where people were telling us that we had to lay out people. And that was very hard on me. Actually, it took me to a dark place and a very difficult place. Because for me, people come first before a profit. Without people, you can't build a company. You can't build a profitable company. Without a community, you can't build a profitable com company. Because if you have the right people, the right asset, the right talent, and the right support of your community, nothing will stop you ever. You'll make mistakes, you'll fix them, but the community is beside you and your people beside you and they are much smarter than I am. They have much bigger experience than I do. So sales went down like crazy, like from 4 million to 400, 500,000 a month. And the bills are the same. The government had not designed those great programs that they end up designing. Federal government, provincial government, municipal government, they all acted very well, yet, the amount of sales that has gone, it's unsustainable for any business. So slowly, slowly start ramping up. Yet the program will say to you, you will have to lose 70% of your business to get a subsidy. Well, if you lost only 35% of your, if you lost only 65% of your business, you won't be deserving subsidy, but that means full rent, full staff. It's a little bit far from reality. That program had helped, had helped the, con the country, the economy, but we need to have an approach customized tailored per industry for especially the hospitality industry to last otherwise 13 percent only of the restaurant will remain and 78 percent of those of the room will be shattered so it's a lesson i think we'll write more a book not about i always everybody says write a book write a book you came with nothing write a book i think the book should be written of how everyone acted in the pandemic and it shouldn't be written on paper, but it's all about watching each other, teaching the younger people how to act when everything is started from scratch. When your whole business plan, you need to scrape it and start again. So we did several moves. We accelerated the idea of box. We opened this automated restaurant that everybody heard about. We pressed gas on that because we thought that was the right timing and was perfect. It's like having a crystal ball where you have a touchless experience, touchless pickup, real chefs preparing the food and the concierge in the front maintaining the personal touch when you come into the restaurant to welcome you. So we accelerated that. We created something called Cloud Kitchen where you use the spaces that you have or spaces that you rent for much cheaper to do takeout and delivery only because your restaurants anyway are takeout and delivery. But instead of paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a space that you don't use, then you use it from smaller places. The third steps that we took, we're gonna insert boxed menu. And another brand that you will hear about in five weeks I'm launching for a completely different product, still halal product, but it's chicken based product. It's not Middle Eastern, right? And have all these brands served out of Paramount locations. Have all these brands served out of the cloud kitchen and what does that do if your rent was ten thousand dollars and you're selling only paramount during the pandemic the paramount sales went down 50 percent because you can't have sit down and now it's opening hopefully today 50 percent of sit down but you're still missing the other 50 percent so what i did is creating two more brands which is boxed and the new brand called the crispo to be sold 
from inside payment location to share rent, share expense, share staff, and bring more top line sales and revenue. And we're going to continue doing that. We're happy to announce that we're going inside several supermarkets to open payment because the business has gone to grocery now. So we partner with a couple of grocery stores and a brand, and we convince them to open Paramount restaurant and Paramount butcher shops inside those grocery stores. So now while you're getting your grocery, you could pick up some ready to be made food and you don't need to two trips to the restaurant. We're acting as Paramount as of this pandemic, economic pandemic, I would call it, right? Because the health pandemic might be showing much better results so far in Canada. There is always risk of a second wave, even if it's a smaller second wave. But the economic pandemic could hurt us much more. And I'm afraid we opened a little bit faster to really make up for the money, not for the health side. And I'm afraid we're going right. to end up with no health and no money if we're not careful. Because if we go back to another shutdown, the economy will be hurt. So Paramount is acting our plan, and I wrote my plan in a Globe and Mail article. I said the most difficult part for business is going to be now when the government is announcing soon to pull their health. People feel psychologically everything opened up, stage three open, when businesses are still struggling the same way. So they have less empathy, less support, and they don't have the money to sustain their business. This is where we're going to see a lot of higher mortality rate, unfortunately. So the only way is to act different, think different, and do things different. And Brampton is very dear to my heart. I've been awarded in Brampton, the business leader of the year. We do have a kitchen that 30,000 square feet has over 100 some people working in there. It's been there for a bit. We had a location in Brampton in a plaza that wasn't very successful for Prima. And now we reopened the restaurant on a cloud kitchen base. So we serve the people we love, the people we've always been supported with. Brampton always supported me and I always appreciate that. Sure. So, Mohammed, the uh, Brampton Cloud Kitchen recently opened. I'm a big fan of Paramount Foods. I normally get the mixed grill. Both myself and wife can eat the one mixed grill. So, and I noticed the price on the, on the menu is also cheaper. So, just for the benefit of our viewers, what is your favorite item on your menu? I actually love the mixed grill. I uh, love the Saj uh, beef shawarma. So, these are my go to uh, item, but the mixed grill give me one skewer of each. And the prices are cheaper right. because we created this dare to care menu during the pandemic. We realized Canadian need their dollar to stretch much further. So we actually dropped our prices, even if we're suffering as a company, like every other food company is, but we dropped our prices right. to make it more affordable for our people that supported us the most, which is the community. Okay. Well, so we'll have the link to the uh, Brampton kitchen. Uh, cloud Kitchen uh, on the in the video here. Uh, I encourage personally everybody to at least if you've never been to Paramount, try out something from the menu. The mixed grill, I don't think you can go wrong. And Mohammed, thank you so much for spending time with us and giving us some perspective on what's happening in the restaurant industry. Thank you for being such a big business leader in our city, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you very much, and to all Bramptonians, we're looking forward for your support. But local businesses need your support, and I do support a lot of businesses on Brampton. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry.